Yo, what is going on YouTube? I am Germ here. Today we have some very, very sad but big breaking news to talk about coming out of the League of Legends world. Fnatic just posted this a couple of minutes ago. We're right on top of this. You know, as always, we're trying to bring you the latest up-to-date news, give you guys an idea of what is going on uh, in the League of Legends world. Fnatic tweeted out, World 2021 roster update, they said, Following an urgent family matter, Upset is forced to return home and will until further notice not start for our team in the group stage. We ask that his privacy be respected. Um, they also say that Bean has been preparing with our team uh, the last few weeks in Reykjavik and will make his debut as a starter in our world's opener against Hanwha Life Esports. Obviously, that game is tomorrow, depending on when you're watching this video. Uh, we urge the community to focus on the incoming competition where we will do our utmost to represent Europe in our ninth world tournament. Now, obviously, this is a very, very big deal for a couple of reasons. One, first and foremost, uh, prayers for Upset and his family. You know, I hope Obviously, it sounds bad. It sounds like things are not going well. Who knows what is going on? Hopefully, everything is all good with them. Hopefully, everything is okay. Hopefully, it's nothing too serious. And even if it is, um, you know, thoughts and prayers are with them. Obviously, hopefully, everything works out for the best. Um, but it definitely doesn't sound good. Obviously, if he's having to leave the event. Now, that's devastating. That's heartbreaking. Upset has been grinding for so long. He finally makes it to a world championship. Uh, and it seems like he will not get to enjoy, um, you know, the fruits of that labor, unfortunately. Uh, my, my guess would be that we will not see Upset at all in this world championships again without knowing anything about the situation at all. Um, but that is just kind of based on traveling, travel restrictions, quarantining, all the stuff that goes into this. I don't really think you can just, especially in the COVID world, maybe in years past, but in the COVID world, I don't really think you can just hop back and forth, you know, between uh, things like this and still end up playing in an event of this magnitude. So obviously this puts Fnatic in a weird situation. I don't know how long they have known this. I don't know if this is breaking news for them or, you know, maybe upset le left a while ago. I don't know how long Bean has been scrimming with them, preparing with them. You know, they say he's been preparing for the past couple of weeks, but I'm sure that was probably him preparing as a sub, probably not him preparing as a starter. But, um, you know, we don't really know for sure. We don't have a ton of information about this situation, but Bean will be playing. Obviously, this changes a lot of things um, because focusing on just League of Legends, obviously, this is way bigger than esports, but we do still have a competition going on. We do still have things to talk about. Um, you know, it is what it is, unfortunately. Um, but Fnatic has an easy-ish group. I mean, when you take a look at their group, they have um, Hanwha Life, PSG Talon, who a lot of people are not totally convinced of, especially after Beyond Gaming didn't even make it out of play-ins. Um, and they have RNG. Now, RNG is obviously going to be very, very tough, but Hanwha Life and PSG Talon were two very, very beatable teams, especially for the two seed coming out of Europe, especially uh, for Fnatic ending the playoffs as strong as they did and with so much veteran talent on this team. You know, um, Hillisang and Bwipo have had very, very good success internationally previously. Um, and now this changes everything for Fnatic. And what's really, really big is not only how this could affect them at this world, because it's, I don't think many people expected Fnatic to win worlds anyway. So, you know, it might hurt their final results a little bit, but it shouldn't affect things too much. Maybe now Hanwha Life gets out of groups instead of Fnatic and they end up losing in the quarterfinals or um, maybe Fnatic can still do this thing. Who knows? This is going to be an awesome, awesome opportunity for Bean to showcase his talents. He could work himself into a, a massive, massive contract next season. He could work his way onto another team next season. Who knows? Um, but this also could have, you know, a big domino effect on the careers of a lot of people. Now, um, we always know that every world, every tournament, every end of the season, uh, what happens to players largely depends on how things go. You know, a, a good showing at Worlds or a good finish at Worlds for the team can sometimes convince players to stay with the organization or to stick around or to try it again or get their contract renewed or whatever. And a disappointing finish, a disappointing performance or bad results can maybe want the team to go in a different direction, maybe make the player want to move on, maybe make the player um, want to evaluate his options a little bit further. And this could really send a kind of a ripple effect throughout Fnatic. Now, who knows what this is going to mean for the future of Bwipo? You know, we know that Hillisang just re-signed to Fnatic, so he seems like he's there to stay. Upset will also hopefully be able to rebound from all of this, and he will be there to stay. But what's going to happen to Niski? What's going to happen to Bwipo, depending on how good or bad this world goes? 
it's going to be very, very interesting uh, to follow and watch and just kind of see how this thing all plays out because all of a sudden, uh, you know, this really, really changes things for Fnatic. And again, they're the European second seed. Rogue is coming into this tournament with very, very low expectations. So all of a sudden, this could, you know, hurt Europe as a, as a region as a whole as well. Um, as far as Bean, I don't know really how many people, you know, know him that well. He was the AD carry for Fnatic Rising. Obviously, um, he did, I mean, he's coming off a good performance in EU Masters. Obviously, Fnatic Rising just finished second overall. I believe they lost um, in game five against K Corp in the EU Master Finals in the summer. Um, so obviously, you know, the Fnatic Rising team has been doing good. A lot of their players have been doing good in the EU Masters series and in that scene. But EU Masters and Worlds is worlds away. You're kind of skipping a couple jumps in there. Um, but this player should have talent. You know, Bean should be good. Again, I don't know a ton about him other than what he did at EU Masters this past season. Um, but It'll be interesting to see, you know, how how quickly he's able to develop synergy with the entire Fnatic roster, how quickly he's able to develop synergy uh, with Hillisang, what kind of picks he's going to play, how this is going to affect how the team plays. Um, because one of the biggest strengths of Fnatic, you know, this is a team with Whippo, a roll swap jungler, a rookie top laner, and a, a mid laner who likes to play for, more for his team. A big strength of this team was their bot lane. They were playing through Upset and Hillisang a lot. Upset and Hillisang coming into this tournament were seen to be maybe one of the better bot lanes in the entire world. Will Bean and Hillisang be able to recreate some of that success? Obviously, Hillisang in his career has been able to find a ton of success with Reckless, with Upset, maybe. You know, Hillisang is, is a big driving force behind why these bot lanes can be so great. Or maybe all of a sudden Fnatic is losing, you know, their number one strength of this team and they're just going to kind of fall apart and implode. I don't really know. Um, but as far as being himself, uh, some of his stats for what he's been doing recently, he actually had a really good year. You know, 9.67 KDA in the spring, spring playoffs 5.5, EU Master Spring playing 7.31. Uh, I mean, this guy's been a beast the whole year. Summer 10.37 KDA overall, uh, playing a ton of different champions. Summer playoffs 6.21, EU Masters playing 7.13. And then that EU Masters main event where, again, they made it all the way to the finals. Uh, he ended up with a 4.84 KDA. He, like, these are really, really good stats. Things are looking good. This guy has been in good form. He has been popping off. But, again, that's against a way different level of competition. That's against um, an entirely different set of players than he's going to be matching up against. You know, he's going to be going up against Hanwell Life, PSG Talon, uh, and RNG. These are some very, very good AD carries. These are some good bot lanes. These are some good teams. Um, I mean, this just really sucks. I was so, I mean, I am still so excited for Worlds, obviously. This isn't going to take away from the event or anything like that. Um, but it's just kind of a distraction, obviously, for all the Fnatic players. Uh, they're friends with Upset. They, are, they know him really, really well personally. They're obviously worried about him and his family, I'm sure. Um, hopefully, they'll be able to block that out of their minds while they're in-game, while they're on the Rift. But I'm sure, you know, whenever they're out of it, that's all they're going to be thinking about. They're going to be worried and concerned, um, and rightfully so. Um, but, but yeah, this is big news coming out. Obviously, this is going to affect Worlds. This is going to affect Fnatic. Fanatic. Um, we don't know how much. We don't know what it's going to do. I'm still hyped up. I'm still excited. Worlds is still going to be awesome. Um, but, you know, that's just kind of how the world is right now. There's always going to be a curveball thrown in. There's always going to be um, something to throw you through a loop. Uh, and this is our latest. It looks like Upset will at least be missing the first couple of group stage, group stage games for Fnatic and could potentially, unfortunately, be missing the entire tournament. But that is pretty much it for this video today, guys. Hopefully, I catch you in the next one. Until then, peace.